Hey everyone, it's Colin from DIY Guy. Thanks for checking out today's video where I'll be building a birdhouse, which is actually more DIY than GIY Guy, but you know, birds and garden, it's all the same ecosystem. Also, I've got some scrap wood laying around, so here's a video of me building a birdhouse. So before I get into building the house, I wanted to talk about a few things I learned just doing some research on how to plan a birdhouse. Um, it really comes down to a few things. You have the dimensions of the house, the airflow, and the water management. So first thing we need to do before we dimension our house is decide what kind of birds we want living in our house. If you want a smaller bird, like a, a sparrow, uh, then you're going to need a smaller hole, smaller house. The smaller hole is so that bigger birds don't kind of pester the smaller birds. And then obviously if you want, a bigger, if you want bigger birds, then you've got to have a bigger house and bigger hole. Today I'm building a house that sparrows can live in, and because I've got a ton of them always running around on my front porch and I figure they don't have a place to live, so I'm going to build them a place to live. Okay, so here's the plans for my birdhouse. I've got a 5x5 five five inch floor. Uh, my hole is going to be 5 inches above the floor, which is recommended from an article I read. And then my hole for sparrows is going to be an inch and a half in diameter. So this is a very simple birdhouse design. You probably see them all over the internet. But today, I'm going to be using this scrap wood that I've got left over from a broken entertainment center. Now it's only got a few components. We've got the front and back wall, which will be the same, except the back wall won't have the hole in it. And then we've got the side wall, the right side, which is 10 inches, the left side, 8 inches. And then we'll have the top roof, which is just an 8 by 8 square, I think. Uh, I might adjust this just depending on how it looks at the end. So over here is the nerd trigonometry I did to figure out the angle I need to bevel these side walls so that the roof lays flush across the top of them. As I mentioned before, the last two things are airflow and water management. So for airflow, I'm just going to drill some holes right below the eave of the roof. And then for water management, I'm going to drill holes in the floor, uh, just a few to let water drain uh, if anything gets in there. So again, here's a rough sketch of what that's going to look like. After I build it all, I'll go ahead and drill some holes along the top. You can do slits if you want. Uh, and then on the bottom, I'll probably drill some holes around the base for more airflow and then drill some holes in the floor for drain holes. And the last thing I learned in my extensive two article research was that uh, birds like natural wood, so don't worry about sanding, varnishing, painting, anything like that. Uh, just leave it all natural if you can. Unfortunately, I've got a finished side here, but I'm going to put this on the inside. That way it doesn't absorb a lot of sunlight and heat up really quickly. Uh, so this lighter side will actually be on the outside so it stays cooler. Without further ado, let's build a birdhouse. So last things to do are drill some holes. We've got the one and a half inch diameter hole for the entry. I'll do some holes across the top and bottom for ventilation and then drill some holes in the floor for drainage. The last thing to do is put the roof on, which if you have a hinge, use that. That would work great, uh, easy to clean it out. Uh, I'm, I don't have a hinge handy and I don't wanna buy one. So I'm just gonna put some temporary wood nails in there and they'll be easy to pull out. I'm not gonna glue it or anything. I'm gonna use a quarter inch bit to drill the air holes and a one eighth inch bit to drill the drain holes. So I wish I had a one and a half inch spade bit, but I do not, so I'm going to use a Dremel um, wood cutting drill bit. Well, the Dremel tool didn't work quite as well as I'd hoped. Uh, it's kind of a crooked looking hole. Uh, spade bit would have been really nice, but again, this is just scrap wood, and that's like one tool that I don't have. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and just assemble this and get the nail gun out, nail it all together, and I'll show you the finished product. It's almost finished, I just gotta put the lid on. I'm gonna nail that on, so I just wanna show you the inside before I do that. You can see down in there, it's about, about eight to 10 inches deep, five inch square foot floor, or square inch floor, <laughs> square foot floor. Um, got the holes for the drainage in the bottom, got the, got the vent holes there, uh, looks pretty good. Uh, the only thing that I wish I could have changed was bought a spade bit, uh, because the hole is about 1.75 to two inches. Which isn't the problem, one and a half to two inches it will fit pretty much any bird. Um, I just didn't want it to be too big for squirrels to get in. So one thing I learned at the farmer's market actually was that um, with bird houses, if your wood's thin enough, this is three quarter inch so it shouldn't be a problem, but squirrels will actually chew around that, that hole opening to try to get in and eat bird eggs. So if you have some metal trim, you could put a, a circle of metal around this, that way they can't chew through it. I don't have any trim so I'm not gonna do that, but uh, definitely an option. So I'm gonna put the lid on now. I'm gonna go ahead and nail it on. I'm gonna put all my overhang on the front, uh, front to back. So I'll have about two inches out front. 
it'll be flush on the back so it goes against the post and then I'll have about a half inch overhang left on the left and right sides. So I'll show you the finished product but that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like and subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one.